wet parade. Michigan started the repeal landslide, and Utah, number 36, has clinched it. Only the Carolinas had voted dry when this map was made. Except for a few formalities, prohibition's finished. The man who started it all, Andrew J. Volstead, as he looked when his Prohibition Enforcement Act launched the 14-year battle to regulate the habits of 120 million people. The rum running era opens. The Coast Guard trains its guns on liquor smugglers, desperately risking their lives for the rich returns from bootleg booze. Here and there, a prize is captured and its illegal cargo confiscated. But although hundreds of boats are taken each year with lives lost on both sides, the blood pours in. Down sewer go thousands of gallons, but it's only a drop in the bucket. The gangster era starts. The private feuds of public enemies bring a reign of terror and baffle police. <laughs> Al Capone goes to jail. The federal government strikes its first telling blow at the underworld by convicting public enemy number one on income tax frauds. But although his long career of crime has stopped, there are plenty of others to take his place. Al Smith, nominated for president at the 1928 convention, heads the turn of the tide towards repeal as he courageously comes out against prohibition. Although his stand probably did much to cost him the election, the happy warrior sees his efforts crowned with success today. At Chicago, Franklin D. Roosevelt, just nominated, seals prohibition's doom with these stirring words. This convention wants repeal. Your candidate wants repeal. And I am confident that the United States of America wants repeal. The people speak. Congress heeds the mandate of the voters by passing a repeal amendment that goes to the states. The end of the bootlegger and all his murderous brood is at hand. Prohibition is dead, and America's liberty-loving millions rejoice. <laughs>